Tom and Julie here. We're out in the Jeep again on the mine hunting trail once again. If you can't find them, grind them. We're looking at some sand dunes over that way. It's pretty cool. Oh, we're leaving one mine and heading for another. Looks like there's an open pit mine over here. And some other things. And then the bottom of Death Valley out that way. Well, here we are at the White Cap Mine. Supposedly, at one point, this was one of the nicest head frames in the whole park. Not anymore. Looks like it's been burned. There's the big wheel down there. There's an old bicycle down there. Okay, here we are, partway down the inclined shaft. It looks like something over that way. The shaft continues down this way. Let's go a little deeper. There's a ladder here now. Looks like we have a drift level here. This is looking back up. We're probably 100 feet down or more. And this keeps going down and gets steeper. I can't tell if it stops or... And then there's a little drift level going this way too. It's that track in it. Let's go to the right here first. There's an old mini Michelob bottle. This comes into a big stope. Big room here. This goes this way a ways. Let's keep following this level a little ways. It looks pretty good up ahead. A little more stable. I'm not thinking that this is going to be a massive explorer by any means. This is looking straight up. All right, let's continue on here. What's gonna be it? Ran out of talc, I guess. You can see the drill holes. Okay, let's go back this way. Too bad about that head frame out there. I don't know if somebody purposely torched it or what, but. Why would you do that if they did? Look at the insulator. Electrical insulator. Probably had some communication phones down in here.
Well, it appears to be a thick seam of something up above here. Let's see if we can go the other way. Oh. We're not back to the shaft yet. I thought this was the shaft. Now we're back to the shaft. There's a uh, dynamite box. Okay, this is going to the left off the main shaft. There's a big something to my right here. Hmm. Looks like there's another drift level below us down there. This is pretty well collapsed here. This is another big stove. Wow. That's looking up. That's looking down. And this is looking ahead. I think it goes a little ways. Looks interesting enough, doesn't it? It's going to curve to the left. There were tracks in here. I see the cross ties. Here's the split, just a short stub to the left, and probably the same thing to the right, this is the end of it. Yeah, just a little room at the end here. Here we are back to this big stove, pretty good size one. You can see Julie over there, it's probably 40 feet across and it goes down quite a ways. Big hanging wall up here on the left. This is the next drift level. Doesn't look real big. A little piece of hose down here. Piece of ladder. Tracks are here. Just goes a short ways and stops. Well, a lot of stuff has come off the ceiling though. Look at the size of some of those. That's further down the shaft, it gets considerably steeper. The ladders are getting a little rough here. It's kind of broken up. And it's quite steep. The timbering still seems solid though. I can see the end of this whole thing down here. as I breathe in the asbestos dust. Well, I guess I better go all the way down to see if there's a level down here. I see those those old cask type steel barrels that are pretty cool. Green one down there. So I'm up the bottom of this incline shaft. There's some neat stuff down here. There's this green, I think they're like 69 gallons or something like that cans. What's that say? I can't read it, but... I 
And this is the end of the winds just below me here, about another 10 feet down. This is looking up at a pretty steep angle. It comes to a pretty much a vertical ladder at this point. It's got a little angle to it, but about like that. Okay, this is to the left, off of the ladder. I see a chute. Ouch! That's a big talc rock, isn't it? Yeah. It's got some track in here. There's a big chute. Yeah, you always think this talc is light, but even a small piece of it, very dense and very heavy. Here's some air or water line coming up. Right where the last miner to use it left it. Looks like a stove up there. Tracks curve around to the left after this. This looks like a... Oh, the valve still turns. Hmm. Still going, huh? Looks like some fuse cord down there. Yeah, the tracks curved into this stope here. A couple of big stalls up there. And then here's the end of this drift. They've got some items stored over here. Small ladder, some steel, another longer ladder. A piece of rail there. Okay, well let's go the other way. Okay, here we are back to the bottom of the inclined shaft. Quite of an arrangement of timbers here. Oops. Bavarian Pilsner. Here's the grease can and the swab there. Looks like they're using a All right, let's go this way. Here's a, it's like a five gallon fuel can. It's still got something in it, probably oil. There's part of an explosives box. Looks like the top of it maybe, or. Here's a chute with some haphazard timbering on top of it. Whole bunch of wedges and parts of uh, explosives boxes and stuff. That was a uh, giant. You can see the G there. Here's a chute. Some gobbing on the left. With some heavy duty lagging holding it back. A little skinny little chute here.
There's still the track in here. Kind of curves around to the right and back to the left. Lots of explosive box parts. And there's explosive paper that they ship with. Some fuse cord. A little ladder. There's another piece of giant box up there. They reused those boxes for a lot of things. And they were shimming and stuff. Another chute. Keeps going this way a little ways. Tracks are still here. I believe that's going to be about it. Yep, that's it. Goes up here a little ways. That's it. It's pretty white. That's the white cap mine. Right? Yep. Kind of an interesting little, about three levels. I think it's a 300 foot uh, incline that comes down here, so we're down 300 feet. I think that's the slope length. So. I just noticed the uh, switch here, probably a bell or something that rang up to the top when the skip car was loaded down here and then they would hoist it up so the guy down here would ring the bell when they're ready to go this looks like this was some type of signaling device too that pulls this wire Here's another one of these pulls. There's one of these on each drift level. I suppose that they would pull this when they when they had a bell or something up there that would signal the the uh, hoist operator to lift up the skip. We're almost back to the top now. Julie's on the final final ladder. Then we got a little scrambling on the very top because the ladders are buried the last 40, 50 feet. Thanks for watching the video and Julie and I will catch you on the next mine adventure.